Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can install Django and how you can set up Django in Visual Studio Code. First, if you don't have Python and Visual Studio Code installed, check the links in the description below. It will show you how you can install Python and Visual Studio Code. Once you have installed both, let's open our Visual Studio Code. Once you have Visual Studio Code open, you will see these options here. Open folder, clone repository and create Java project. So in your case, if you don't have these two extensions, you will just see open folder. Now what we will do is we need to install Django first, right? So Django is a very popular web development and APIs development framework for Python. So you can quickly create APIs, quickly create websites and all using Django. So we will get into details later on. But first, let's install Django. Now come over here and click on terminal. Click on new terminal. Once this terminal is open, you can write commands here. Now to install packages and libraries for Python, we have a popular tool called PIP that is called pip. Now we can install Python dependencies or Python modules or Python libraries using pip. So to install Django, you just type pip install and then django that is the spelling of Django. Now hit enter and Django installation will start. So as you can see, now Django installation has started. It will take around a minute to complete. Let's wait till the installation is complete. So after the installation is complete, you will see this message that says successfully installed Django 5.0.3. So this is the version of Django. To make sure you have Django installed, you can enter this command python dash m and then django double dash version. Hit enter and this will show you your installed Django version that is 5.0.3. So once Django is installed, we need to create a project using Django. Okay, so again, to start a project, we need to enter a command and the command is DJANG Django dash ADMIN and then start project and then enter your project name. Let's call this project my first project. Hit enter and your first project is now created. Now, one thing is, where is this project created, right? So how do you find out where this project is actually created? So there is this command called pwd in Linux and iOS. So if you can enter pwd in Linux and iOS and hit enter, you will see this path. And in Windows, you can also enter dir, hit enter, and it will show everything in this current directory. And this is where your project is created. So let's scroll. And as you can see, we have this my new project here. And if I enter PWD, as you can see, this is the path where my project is created. All right. So I can just hold control and click on this in Visual Studio Code to go there. So as you can see, I have now opened that path in my Visual Studio Code. But this is not what we want. We want to just open that folder, right? So I'll just close this and I'll just copy this and I will go to this path using my explorer. So just right click on this and copy this. Now I can close my Visual Studio code and what I'll do is I'll browse to that directory manually. So I'll go to my explorer and here I'll paste that path using control V and hit enter. And now I have all these files here and my project would be somewhere here. Where is it? Yeah, here is my project. And now what I can do is here, click on this bar here and type CMD again and hit enter and command prompt will be open, right? And now what I can do is I can just type CODE and period and hit enter and this project will be open in Visual Studio Code. All right, so as you can see, now finally my project is open here and I can see a default file that is created by Django. Okay, now that is one way, but if you are in Linux or iOS, what you can do is you can open terminal or command prompt and you can browse to or change directory to this directory manually. Or let's close this again, just open Visual Studio Code, right? But since I had already opened this, it will already open. In your case, if it is not already open, what you can do is click on file and click on open folder and just browse to your folder from here. Okay, it's pretty simple. So this is the project and I'll just do select folder 
and this will also open up project in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so now we have created a project and now we have opened the project in Visual Studio Code. So let's run this and let's see what happens. Okay, again, so we will go to terminal and click on new terminal. This time, as you can see, the full path is C users, Visha and my first project. So I'm inside my first project. Here, what you need to do is you need to run Python and this is the file name manager.py python and run manage.py. So what we are doing is we are running manager.py using python. Hit enter and python. sorry manage.py will be executed. Okay, now we have an error in this command. So I entered this because I wanted you to know that there are several commands that we can pass to manage.py that is change password, create super user, check compile messages and all that stuff and the one we are searching for is run server okay so what we do is we do python and using python we run manage.py and to manage.py we pass run server parameter and this run server will run our django project by default let me show you what happens okay so it is saying starting development server at this url this is nothing but just a url url like facebook.com or x.com or example.com so this can be changed to all those things when you are when we are finally in the end of the project and check out our brand new awesome okay. coding mode for we've now got our server is ready we've got stickers Let's for laptops what we have by default cups, when we bags, and a lot more so what you get it today from the link hold below. control and click and this will open in your browser and as you can see django is now installed and it is saying the install worked successfully. Now, finally, in the next video, we will change this thing and we will create our own web page. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.